Hello, everybody. Um, it's been a while since I posted. That's fine. Um, there's a lot of things that have been going on in the world, and um, right now, I uh, don't think it's the best time I can upload. Um, I have a lot of things in my mind, and uh, I'm, I just want to talk a little bit. I want to rant about uh, the recent events that we all heard about, about Russia invading Ukraine and the whole spiel um i wanna i wanna start by saying that we all kind of saw this coming i'm pretty sure everybody that was hearing the news even before the invasion started knew that the invasion was gonna happen soon rather than later um based by all the russian actions no matter what they said um what putin said actually uh, we all knew that it was going to happen. It wasn't going to be a simple exercise or a drill for Russian troops um, testing out different methods. And uh, it's just stupid to even think that Putin would like fool us in that kind of way, um, fool like everybody else. And uh, so I am worried about the situation that is unfolding every single day and every single minute in our world right now. Uh, more so than other wars that are going through today. I'm gonna say why. Uh, of course, when there is a war in the Middle East for 20 years with Afghanistan and America and some NATO forces, and um, when you have wars in Africa uh, between tribes and um, war chieftains and all that stuff, nothing has this much, um, let's say, potential of an impact to the rest of the world Afghanistan could have but they with all the Taliban's weaponry they couldn't do any super mass destruction in any other country and now we have a country Russia with an immense amount of weaponry strategy uh, just mass destruction shit threatening and not just threatening actively going after a weaker country on the neighbor side for no apparent reason I'm gonna go a bit more detail on what I'm thinking and a bit about the everything I just want to get a foundation Russia has a very big reputation with war uh, from the second world war that happened we we all saw how strong the Russian army could be, even though they had some strategic things that were not really solid. Their strength of an army and of everything, their resolve was put to the test and it persevered and it was able to hold back the German forces on the war of the World War II. Now, Let's get a bit to the nitty-gritty of this situation and start dissecting it real quick because I really like helps me ease my mind. <laughs> it really helps me ease my mind when I think about it like more logically, uh, not as a scrambled thoughts like all the time. So, how did this whole thing start? From what I have understood, and take all my opinions and uh, things that I say here with a grain of salt with a grain of salt I'm not a reporter I'm just a guy <laughs> that follows this a little bit close um, and I've seen a bunch of things I heard a bunch of things and I'm here to share it maybe we can all have a conversation see what's gonna what's going on around the world and yeah yeah um, and maybe clear stuff up and have a nice conversation about it. anyway so Russia um, found out that Ukraine wanted to join the NATO forces and also the the European Union. That was not really acceptable from Russia's side, like they couldn't accept that that would happen because Putin, from his perspective, saw Ukraine as a, a lost piece of the Soviet Empire. Um, something that just, the, like the one that got away and he wanted that desperately, he really wants that. And also, he, Ukraine joining NATO forces and the European Union will protect her from Russia, but it will also put um, NATO forces, pretty much 
next to Russia and there is some tensity between NATO and Russia so Putin was more stressed about it um, but NATO and everybody else had like no intentions of actual war conflict that it is insane that he even got to the conclusion that there would be a fight from NATO side to Russia like we're the attackers <sighs> It is kind of weird to think, but paranoia is a big thing. Paranoia is a big thing, and especially when you're a world leader for that long. I'm not saying I, um, I'm not excusing his behavior. I'm just trying to make sense of it. Um, so Russia seeing that is like, okay, no, not Russia. Putin seeing that, um, and I, I make this distinction very clearly. Putin seeing what's going to happen is like, okay, I cannot let this happen. I'm going to put my forces around Ukraine and I'm going to pretty much insinuate for now that I'm going to invade and I'm going to take Ukraine or I'm going to kill the the president and then um, put puppet government like they've done. Um, so he did that and everybody's like, whoa, what the fuck are you doing? Put in, uh, what is this? What are you doing? He's like, oh, nothing, guys, don't worry. It's a, it's a military drill and we all knew it was bullshit. Um, Ukraine was getting ready, people were evacuating, um, and in general, like, it was kind of chaotic in the beginning. Then, we heard news of, um, Ukraine being invaded. I think five days ago, five, six days ago, now, of recording this. Um, heartbreaking, honestly. It was heartbreaking to hear. Uh, even though I don't live in Ukraine, I'm part of the European Union, and I live kind of close I guess country wise um, so hearing that really kind of broke me in a way because I did not think that you would go that far even though I knew I just had to hope that you wouldn't go that far because there's no benefit from doing this and everybody's saying that there's no benefit and it's pretty obvious to see that there's no benefit there's just gonna be Houses destroyed, people killed, uh, stigmatizing a whole nation of Russia because of your decisions, and stig and then praising other nations pretty much. It is just a whole fucking mess. After that happened, from what I heard, Russia's, Russia people um, were against it. Of course they were against it. They didn't want their men, their fathers, their brothers, anyone to go to war. Um, their sons they didn't want them to go to a pointless war when it had no basis nothing happened from Ukraine side to Russia side so in Putin's mind for him to justify this whole operation he went out and said that Ukraine was pretty much massacring and had um, the Second World War Germany era uh, kind of ideology, you know, about superiority, so I'm not going to say the word, <sighs> had all those ideologies against Russians, and they were committing genocide against them, which is not true. I searched for it for about two hours in the internet. I, of course, I could have searched more, right? Yeah. But the only thing I heard was Putin saying that three days ago. Like, <laughs> there, was, there was no other evidence, and I'm pretty fucking sure that if there was an active genocide going on right now inside the European space between a massive country as Russia and Ukraine with all this social media going on, at least one protester would have fucking seen it and would have posted it. But there's nothing. There's no videos or any information against that. Nothing. So it's just all propaganda. And the Russian people, the Russian people know that shit. They know it. So they are protesting against it. They're going out of their houses and saying, let's stop the war. We don't need to fight. There's no need for us to fight. And guess what? Because it's a communist country and Putin is kind of paranoid and weird right now, he's arresting those people and uh, that's not great. Um, now, something else that happened that I heard about it yesterday. Um, there were some prisoners of war from Russia inside the Ukraine border. So Ukrainians had taken prisoners of war, some Russian soldiers from like, uh, I think a tank battalion, I don't know. So, take this with 
a big bunk of salt because we all know when there's war uh, there is a lot of other things and I've heard a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of documented and stories of people having forced confessions and I'm not saying Ukraine is this I'm not saying Ukraine is torturing people to get them to confess to something that they didn't do or to, to save lives for the world but at the same time I cannot I wasn't there when this whole thing was taking place and I cannot say that it was just a civil talk you know I can't so take this with a bunk of salt but those Russian soldiers that were being captive they didn't look hurt they just looked exhausted um, and they said to everybody that they just thought it was a military drill they, they were told it was a military drill and then uh, after they went inside the Ukrainian border they were told, hey, we're in a war now, so if you come back, we're going to think you're the enemy of the state and we're going to shoot you. So it's either those soldiers were caught between a hard place and a rock. They would die if they went back or be in prison for the rest of their lives. And if they went to f forward with like uh, the invasion, maybe, maybe something would happen. You know? But it is just super sad to say. Then after all that, you have Russians, uh, Putin actually targeting non-military targets. There are no military targets in a fucking residential area, they've never been there. They're throwing cluster bombs, which is like a big capsule that's been thrown off a plane. And inside there is a lot, a lot, a lot of other smaller bombs that go on the ground, explode, cause massive damage, and some of them don't even explode. So they're there to stay forever and ever until somebody catches and blows up in their hand and kills them. Um, so they're super dangerous for a lot of reasons. There's not this, they don't discriminate between military and non-military, civilians or, uh, or fighting people. They just kill. Bombs kill. Okay, wow. Good fucking job, Marcus. You said the obvious, but it's so indiscriminate and it's so fucking blatantly obvious that Putin does not give a shit about Ukrainian lives and he just wants to send a message or some shit I don't fucking know he becomes the joker of the Russian people right now uh, so he's after all that because he knew there would be retaliation from all of us like all the other countries He's pretty much threatened before a few days that, hey, if you do shit, we're gonna have consequences that you have never seen. That's pretty much nuclear weapons, right? And then when sanctions came in, um, stopped his economy from growing, now a fucking ruble is worth less than Robux. What the fuck? But holy shit, that, that says a lot about how much uh, the economy is suffering for the Russian people. Even when that happened, Putin does not stop, first of all. And second of all, how does he respond? He's putting his fucking nuclear military personnel on high alert. He, when he even said that, his generals were looking like they shot themselves and like, what the fuck is he doing? If a nuclear war is to happen, that is my main concern. I'm gonna talk about it a bit now. <laughs> Nuclear weapons, as we all know, is the most destructive bombs we've ever created in the history of humanity. And it's something that can easily be world-ending if used in the wrong way. There's no right way to really use a nuclear bomb. Um, but if Russia starts throwing nukes around, people are going to respond by throwing nukes around. And that's it. <laughs> that that's it we're all dead uh, worrisome very worrisome to have something like that looming over your head nuclear nuclear weaponry looming around your head um, as of now I don't see any stopping to this whole thing peace talks have been made nothing changed Nothing changed. The only thing I can see is uh, Putin getting thrown off the government, maybe by someone, um, or s like the whole Russian people population. Yeah, and I want to say something 
really, really, really important here. The Russian people, the population, the, the civilians, and even mo some of the army, I don't know about the army, but some of the army, I'm sure, they don't want this to happen. They are just people trying to live their lives. They don't want to go to a pointless war and die and lose people for something they have no interest in. So pointless, pointlessness of life. They don't want to. And we shouldn't, as a whole world, as the entire rest of the world, we shouldn't be idiotic and so tunnel visioned or oh, Russia did something bad. No, Russia did not do something bad. The government of Russia did something bad. Um, pretty much Putin did something bad by sending all his troops there, did all the wrong decisions, fucked everything up. The Russian people have nothing to do with it. They didn't decide to go to war. So my heart goes out for the people that in Russia that don't want this and they're trying to stop it and I hope you succeed heart goes out to the Ukrainian people that are fighting every day as someone that lives in the in Greece and in the EU um, I I see a lot of your bravery and I am very very touched and moved uh, by your stance and I really hope you come on top of this uh, yeah, I feel like that's it. Thank you so much for watching, Anton. I'm not gonna say if you enjoyed this. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty much like a rant. New episodes and videos are gonna come soon. Just wanted to get this out of my chest. See you soon, guys.